guys, Jason from Purple Cats Quilting. Welcome to the Learning Center this morning. It's Sunday morning. It's the fourth day of our retreat today. We're here bright and early because we changed time in Alberta. Um, so yeah, always make that adjustment on a Sunday morning. Today we're talking about the Tamara jacket pattern and the Quilt Smart coat products, the fusible um, interfacing products to make the free spirit Boy, oh boy, it's early. The Free Spirit Coat Story Challenge, right? So, um, Free Spirit sponsored a contest, and the contest runs till the end of May. It's to make a jacket with Free Spirit fabrics, the Tamarack jacket pattern, and Quilt Smart products. So we'll talk about all three of those, but I just wanted to do just a introductory how to get started, because people buy the jacket, they're really excited about making a jacket, Really excited about making, shh, we're videoing, sorry. <laughs> I'm really excited about making a jacket, um, but they're not sure how to get started. It's so easy. So we're gonna show you how easy it is. Um, so you get a pattern. The pattern comes in two sizes. Here's my jacket I made for Halloween. And you can see that I pieced lots of different components. You can buy the collar and the hood as an add-on. You go to Grayline Studios and you can buy that as an add-on pattern piece if you want. Um, you can see that it would be totally reversible just by using um, binding to finish your seams. So the jacket comes in two different size ranges. This one here is zero to 18 and all of that size comes on your pattern. The other one is 14 to 30 with a D cup for us um, full figures. So um, that we have both of those patterns on our website. When you open up your pattern, you get a full set of instructions on and they're very, very well written. Beautiful detailed pattern with lots of different options and finishing techniques that you can do for your jacket. Um, I put a zipper in mine. Maybe you just want to make like a blazer jacket. You don't need to worry. Some people put snaps, they put buttons. There's different plackets and everything. There's so many, it's kind of like a modular pattern where you can add and take away. You can put a patch pocket on, you can put a welt pocket on, you can put no pocket on. I put pockets inside, similar to a dress pattern I did. Um, I made my coat a little bit longer. There's so many different varieties. I'm very tall, so I have to lengthen my sleeves. I actually made the back part of my coat a little bit longer. And there's all sorts of variations that you can do, but those instructions are in that pattern. If you've never worked with a paper pattern before for garment making, um, this pattern comes on tissue paper. And now they put all of those sizes on one. So the most important thing is to take your measurements and compare it to the pattern to see what is your size. And remember, it's just a number. It doesn't matter. It might not match the clothes that you buy in the store. You are making this garment to fit your body. So you need to know what your measurements are and you need to make sure that you've picked the right size. So on here, I made a size 16 when I made my coats. So size 16 number is here. So see they have 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. I am going to be following this patterned line here that is like Morse code. Long, short, short, long, short, short. And that's the one I want to cut or use for the whole time I make this. Now this tissue paper is very, very fine and thin. Um, we are putting it on pattern ease, which is another garment making technique where we're tracing it onto pattern ease, and we are going to trace it in our size. Then this pattern ease is very, very stiff interfacing. It doesn't rip. Now that's what I'm going to use for my pattern. Um, so we've traced size 16 on here. We've copied all of the, we've transferred all of these markings onto the pattern ease. Now I can pack this up and put it away in back in my thing and use it again next time. But I'm not gonna rip it and tear it really easily. So Tara has marked all of her things, her pocket placement on here, approximate hip level, that's marked on the pattern, um, the length and our shorten line, and um, it talks about that in the pattern too. Because I'm so tall, I probably add about four inches in the body. And this is the line where you would do that. 
Um, you can lengthen your sleeves exactly the same way. So there's really only three pieces to this pattern. There's the front panel, which does the left and the right, the back panel, which is placed on a fold and a pocket. It's easy, very simple. So that's the first step. Find your pattern size, trace it onto something. Um, pattern ease works really, really good. If you have an old sheet, you could use an old sheet. Um, we had some, just some very nice fine woven cotton that people have done it before, made a fabric pattern. The nice thing about this pattern ease, and we were talking about this, Tara and I, you want to make a sample. If you're going to go to all the trouble of piecing and doing all of these little blocks and things, you want to make um, a sample so that you can try it on and make sure it's fit. We actually sewed. When you sew a garment, and it says this in the pattern, you're doing a 5 8 inch seam, which is different than quilting. And you need to read your pattern because it'll tell you maybe you adjust that seam smaller at the neckline. But most of the time it's a 5 8 inch seam. If you cut out this pattern ease, your front and your back, and you stitched your 5 inch seam here and here and tried that on, that will give you a good idea on whether or not it fits. Um, we did this with the dress pattern and it worked really, really good. And then you can just pull out those stitches, you just baste them shut. If it fits, good. If it doesn't, you know where you need to make your adjustment in size. So we've got our pattern done. And there's lots of different ways you can make the tamarack jacket. So our friend Karen has a long arm. Um, she had quilted, pre-quilted on her long arm some fabric, two pieces of fabric together. And now she's just going to lay her pattern pieces on here and cut them out because this is her jacket. So here I've got my pattern piece cut out. I would lay it on my quilted fabric. So she's got two layers and batting in there quilted. I would pin it and I would cut around the outside. And lots of times when I'm cutting, I actually use my ruler for a straight line and I can even use my rotary cutter or a very sharp pair of scissors. So that's if you just quilt your fabric and want to quilt it together. It's very similar to like making um, a bag actually, like a by Annie's bag pattern because we use quilted fabric and then we're using binding to join the seams. So that's one way, that's how Karen's doing hers. I am using the Quilt Smart products and I wanted to show you here I have made, I have used a two and a half inch um, Quilt Smart product where I lay a two and a half inch square on and I've sewn them together. And this is just amazing. Quilt Smart products come in quilt coat kits and I'll show you those in a minute. And I am going to put them back up for one more pre order session. We've done it twice now, they're just so popular. So, this is what I'm going to make my coat out of. So, I am going to prepare my, my panels of fabric. I'm using the Quilt Smart products. And I actually grabbed these. These are Angie's and Kim's, I think. Um, this is what they created last night. Um, we're all playing with this product. Now let's say this is gonna be this side of my coat. And maybe this is gonna be the other side of my coat on the front. I have to make sure that I have a panel. I would quilt this. So I would take this fabric, I would put batting behind it, I would cut my backing fabric or the inside of my coat uh, uh, at least an inch or so, maybe two inches bigger all the way around. I, would, I could quilt it on the diagonal, I could quilt it however I wanted. Once I've got that quilted piece, then I lay my pattern piece over it and that's what I'm gonna use for my pattern. So look at that almost fits. This is a size 14 and one of these almost fits. The way I could make it fit is to add more of the Quilt Smart product to make it longer, or I could add an embellishment. And I'll talk about that over there because I've got some ideas on how I'm going to do it. I'm using Curiouser and Curiouser. I could add a border of the queen. I could add a border of the stripes. You make your basic background piece, your panel, um, and then we're going to lay our pattern on, cut it out, and sew it together the way the pattern talks about. So, so here are the Quilt Smart products, 
and they come all packaged up. You pick the one that you're interested in using. This is the two and a half inch grid. What else do we have here? Black Eyed Susan. We have the Clamshell Coat Pack. These are all on the website. And again, I will do one more pre-order. There's the Honeycomb. There's the Grandma Span. And Tara is doing the Little Lone Star. And she actually did up a sample last night to show you how that works. So um, we have those available for pre-order on the website. Hello, good morning. We're just doing a video on the coat this morning. Um, so now I have the queen here. I'm going to make my jacket curiouser and curiouser featuring the queen of hearts. So I've got a couple different quilt sm smart um, dot panels pre-done. This is the two and a half inch grid. This is the one I love. It's two and a half inch grid on point. Doesn't that look so different? But again, so easy. I cut two and a half inch um, squares, put them on. You just fuse them on and sew them up. It is a really easy process. So that's what I'm gonna use for the base. Because I'm so tall, I'm going to add some embellishments, some fabric around the outside. I'm going to plan, I could maybe put some polka dots as a trim. I could sew that on before I cut out my pattern. I love the polka dots with it. I could maybe make a border on the bottom. Another thing that I could do is I could make a purple cat panel for the front. I like making every panel different because it adds some visual interest. I could do a purple cat panel for the front of my jacket. And then I could take this Quilt Smart product and just add a border or maybe on my sleeves. I could, this is all I need is to put like a border around the bottom of my sleeves, like a cup. Wouldn't that look pretty? I could, I could do something like that. Um, so for the contest, you have to show that you've used the Tamarack jacket, you've incorporated some Quiltsmart products into the construction, and that you've used all free spirit fabrics. So what I suggest as you're making your jacket is to take pictures of your steps along the way and make a pic collage at the end to post with your finished jacket. There we go. Um, again, um, it's Free Spirit Fabrics, which includes like Tula Pink, Anna Marie Horner, Tim Holtz. Yeah, so we'll all just come over there. So we've got this beautiful Tim Holtz. Tara's playing around with Tim Holtz. Um, we've got Tim Holtz bundles. And you know, there's a lot of fabric in here. You might have some scraps at home. You don't need a lot of fabrics when you're doing those checkerboards. This is the neutral bundle. This is called the bowl bundle. And then we have the new Alchemy line, which is these beautiful, bright, vibrant colors. Wouldn't that look nice on the inside of a coat because it's kind of like making a pocket on a, on a bag or something. You have that happy little surprise inside. So this one is called, Tara did this one last night just as a sample so you could see. What's this one, Mini? No. This is a Betty Lone, Lone Star. Star. Right. So lots of people really, really love the jacket coat packages there are available and how they use them in samples lots of free spirit people made samples there's one the Lone Star what is it called I can't remember what it's called on the website but you'll see it she used this like we were thinking that if you made this Lone Star um, it might not fit all across like the back of your coat right um, this is using the product but the way she used it is she built it kind of like this on the back of her coat. So that's the back of her coat. And then she had a couple pieces going here for some interest. Um, she actually used colors that look like a mountain, right, on her coat. I think that's, re people were really, really attracted to that. But Tara did up some here in the Tim Holtz. And isn't this pretty? And this went really quick. Um, this kind of looks like it was hard to do, but Tara, tell us about that. What do you, so the instructions on this one are a little different than the, the squares. You do have to follow step by step, but it really is a stitch, flip, and fuse process. Right. That's really what you're doing the entire way down. 
And so you, it's really quite easy once you get the hang of it. You, you get into a yeah, rhythm you and you get back. a few of them going at a time. And Yeah, so yeah. you pre-cut your fabrics, you stitch them in, then you sew your lines. It's that easy. Um, and then there's different ways in the pattern they talk about. You can do some insets here and add fabric. Or we were talking about different ways you could even finish the edges and fuse this onto your jacket packet using... SF 101 maybe or whatever um, each pattern comes with instructions each pattern pack comes with instructions on the technique to use for that printed product because there's so many different ones so this is what it looks like and in the pattern pack by quilt smart it has some instructions on how to use each one here's one over here this is Lorraine's we'll take a peek she's not here yet but she was working on this yesterday this is the one and a half inch grid and she's doing it in the Bargello kind of look so she's picked four Tula Pink fabrics and she's laying them all out she will fuse them down sew them together and look at that isn't that a nice easy Bargello look it's just beautiful very glamorous and she has lots of panels I think you get six or seven panels with your kit but you might not use all the panels she can do her Bargello for the back she could just do some checkerboard ones maybe for her cuff or the bottom she could do some checkerboard down the front um, there's so many variations on how you can use these plain one and a half pixel grids so do you think I've covered it all? I think we've done it. Okay, so that's a quick introduction on how to open your pattern, how to use the Quilt Smart products. I'm gonna do one more pre-order because so many people have been asking, can we just get it, can we just get it? The deadline for the contest is May 27th. Um, it does not take long to do your coat. The, the Probably the most challenging part is figuring out your design for your panels. It's just really quick. I quilted mine on my domestic. I just did grid lines or maybe some fancy quilting here and there. You cut it out as per the pattern and then you finish, you finish your seams inside with binding that covers your seam. So it actually makes your coat reversible if you've finished all your seams. I really like adding the collar and the hood, I did both. You can add one or the other. And again, that pattern part is available on their website. Here's one I made for Christmas. I started out with a panel and I just built my fabric to cut out my pieces. I just started adding fabric. This one, I used a panel on the front, which was a Christmas tree panel. So I call this my Canadian Christmas coat. I used a heavier batting in it and I used flannel on the inside. And you can see I finished it with the Renaissance ribbons. And there's my pockets I added. But it's, it's very simple. You've got your front, your back, your binding, and your trim. That's as easy as it is. And your sleeves. Uh, oh yeah, I guess you gotta add some <laughs> sleeves, yeah. We need some sleeves. Because it is a coat, yes. But they're very simple. They're a one-piece sleeve sleeve that goes in very, very easy. You actually put it in when your jacket is flat and then your last seam is this one. So it's very, very easy. And they called it the Free Spirit Coat Story. Yes, and actually it's on our homepage of our website, all the information, all the contest details. The three things are the Tamarack Jacket, the Cold Smoke Mart product, and using Free Spirit fabric. So have a great day.